<laughs> yeah, the hopefully the ticket sales guys sold the ticket, sold the seats there. That's what the boss said. Did you pay for your ticket, Russ? Well, good afternoon and welcome to UW Milwaukee Panther Arena. I'm Aaron Sims. I'm the radio play by play announcer for your Milwaukee Admirals. Thank you all for being here on such a wonderful day. Uh, I'd like to introduce everybody who is up on the dais with us. Uh, first, we'll start on the far left here, uh, the president of the Wisconsin Center District, Mr. Russ Starkle, uh, the external relations coordinator at UW-Milwaukee, Kevin O'Connor, the secretary of Wisconsin Department of Administration and Wisconsin Center District Board Chair, Scott Neitzel, to my far right, assistant general manager for the National Predators, Paul Fenton, <coughs> next to him, president of the Milwaukee Admirals, John Greenberg, and starting this wonderful conference off is the governor and CEO of the Milwaukee Admirals, Mr. Harris Turr. Uh, thanks everyone. Good afternoon. I'd like to welcome everyone to the UWM Panther Arena, the future home of the Milwaukee Admirals. It's so great to see so many people here tonight. Some of our loyal fans are here. We have uh, some of our former players some sponsors. We also have the representing uh, the youth hockey group that we support, the Milwaukee Junior Admirals, and some of our key charity partners. I'm also happy that my son Brandon's here. He's the main reason I bought this team back uh, about 11 years ago, so it's so great to have him uh, as a part of this day. I can't imagine what someone would have said back in 1987 if someone would have said, you know, in about 30 years, the Admirals are going to be coming back to the arena to play. I think that would have gotten some interesting looks. But what an exciting day it is for our organization, our staff, and most importantly, our fans. We are pleased the Admirals will begin playing at the UWM Panther Arena in the 2016-17 season. Over the past year, the future of the Admirals was up in the air. It was clear early on that we would not be part of the new arena. But fortunately for us, Russ Starkle, the president of WCD, had the vision of bringing the Admirals back home. I think you said that to me a few times, Russ. Coming back to the uh, UWM Panther Arena means a number of important facts for us. For the first time, the Admirals will be sharing in the concession revenues that our, friends, our fans bring to the arena. We will also share in a greater percentage of Admirals merchandise that will be for sale here at the building and we will be getting improved dates for our schedule. I want the community to understand that this is a true public-private partnership. This means that the WCD will be investing a significant amount of money in the building of new locker rooms, dasher boards, glass, netting, as well as other, other items to improve the building. The Admirals will be investing at least two million dollars in upgrades to the building. And while no formal plans have been submitted, we'll be working with Russ Starkle, the WCD, as well as UWM on what those plans will be. The target of those improvements include the concourses and common areas. And the goal of those projects is to create a great experience for our fans as well as fans of UWM basketball, the Milwaukee Wave soccer team, Bruisers Roller Derby, as well as many of the special events that occur at this building. There are some key people here today that I'd like to thank who made this deal possible. Secretary Scott Neitzel, Greg Murray of the Department of Administration, Russ Starkle and Jeff Sinkovic of the WCD, and the entire board of directors of the WCD. Your vision and desire to have the Admirals as a part of the UWM Panther Arena made this at least possible. Our attorney, Kevin Schultz from Foley and Lardner, thank you for your guidance and hard work. I know how much you're going to miss those late night turkey sandwiches and chili. <laughs> Steve Costello, Brian Dvorak, and Paul Jantz from the BMO Harris Bradley Center. They've been great partners of the Admirals ever since I purchased the team, and we are very grateful for all you have done for us over the years. Admirals President John Greenberg. Through all the ups and downs of these negotiations, John has been an incredible presence at the negotiating table. He always believed that deal could come together, but a call to Mr. Seely probably helped remind him that these deals don't come easily. And finally, I think it's important that we recognize the memory of Jane Bradley Pettit. 
Her ownership of the Admirals, as well as her incredible gift of the Bradley Center, guaranteed the future of the Milwaukee Bucks in our community and provided a state-of-the-art facility for the Admirals and Marquette to play in. Mrs. Pettit's generosity and kindness lives on in our community, not only through the BMO Harris Bradley Center, but her charitable foundation that continues to support so many worthwhile causes. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to introduce the Secretary, Wisconsin Department of Administration and Wisconsin Center District Board Chair, Scott Neitzel. Thank you. On behalf of the Wisconsin Center District, I would like to welcome the Admirals back home. Thank you, Admirals, for coming back home to the arena. As I was walking over here today, and uh, I'm a native of Wisconsinite, you know, when I got to thinking about the arena and the Admirals, to me, this is the maybe the best pairing since the fish fry met the old fashioned. <laughs> oh, come on, you guys are from Wisconsin. I thought that, that's the only joke I have, so if you're not laughing at that. Um, first of all, I want to thank uh, the University of Wisconsin Milwaukee. Uh, they have been uh, an incredible partner in this building to this point and have been very good to work with as we accommodate another new tenant into uh, the building that bears their name. I'd also <laughs> like to thank the Wave and the Bruisers uh, for being accommodating also. As you can imagine, there are a number of scheduling issues when we have this many uh, tenants uh, and only basically 365 days in a year. <coughs> Also, and Harris mentioned this, but I also want to thank the Bradley Center staff. Uh, the Bradley Center has been great to work with in this transition. Uh, they are very professional and uh, we work with them on a number of things. And uh, Steve Costello is just uh, a great person and they're a great asset to this community. I'd like to thank the WCD staff, uh, including Russ Starkle, who's been on this for almost a year, trying to anticipate uh, the Admiral's needs and trying to accommodate those. I'd also like to thank my staff at the Department of Administration who has uh, done a great job in helping this process along. Finally, I'd like to thank the Admirals. Uh, as Harris mentioned, uh, this was a good negotiation. Uh, it was a tough negotiation, uh, it was, as it should be. Uh, but in the end, we got a deal that's good for the Wisconsin Center District, good for taxpayers, good for the Admirals, and really good for Milwaukee. And uh, I really appreciated uh, the discussions that we had and I am just pleased as punch that uh, the Admirals are gonna be playing here again in the arena. Uh, Harris also touched on this, but this is an opportunity to upgrade this facility and improve the fan experience. A total of $6.3 million will be invested in the arena over the next three years to uh, improve the fan experience not only for Admirals fans, but for all our attendees at the UWM Panther Arena. Um, finally, in the thank yous, uh, when Governor Walker offered me this, the position of DOA Secretary, I gladly accepted. At that time, there was no idea that that would also come with the chair of the Wisconsin Center District. I've been very blessed to work with a great staff at the Wisconsin Center District and all our tenants. This has been a great opportunity. This has been a great experience. And I just wanted to say thank you to everybody, but including the Governor uh, Walker for giving me this opportunity. Uh, he's a good friend, and I really appreciate the opportunity he's given me to make a difference uh, in my state. So with that, I'll turn it back. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Scott. The uh, Milwaukee Admirals are blessed to have uh, a gentleman by the name of Don Tanner uh, be the uh, official, unofficial historian of the team. A uh, few notes about the Admiral's history in this building. The last regular season game was April 10th, 1987, a 5-4 loss to the Indianapolis Checkers. Uh, the Admirals first started playing games in this building in 1972-73 when the team was in the USHL, the United States Hockey League, played 10 games at the arena, three at Wilson Park and 10 at Dane County Coliseum that season. The Admirals won the USHL Championship April 10, 1976 in this building with a 6-4 win over the Green Bay Bobcats. And in 1950-51, the Milwaukee Seagulls played in this building. The announcer, 
was Hall of Famer Lloyd Pettit. So some tidbits for you about the history of hockey in this arena. Right now I'd like to bring up the president of the Milwaukee Admirals, Mr. John Greenberg. Thank you, Aaron. And I think actually some of those seagulls uh, from 1951 are still flying around outside. Uh, it's a very exciting day uh, for all of us with the Admiral staff. And uh, uh, I want to take a minute just to welcome all of our sponsors, our season ticket holders, and our charitable partners who uh, came out today to join us. You can see just by the sheer volume of people that are here in the room, the support that we uh, get from our community and we could not be more grateful for that when we called our sponsors to mention that we were having this press conference and we told them yesterday the overwhelming response uh, that we got the enthusiastic response really made us feel very very uh, special and very honored to be uh, continuing to have Milwaukee Apples hockey in this community so thank you to all of you for, for coming out and taking the time today to join us I would like to introduce some people who are here in the audience today that uh, have called this place home uh, as hockey players and will in the future. Uh, Danny LaCour is in the room today. Danny is the all-time uh, leading scorer in Admiral's history and many, many, many of his goals were scored played in this building. And uh, Danny is, uh, he's hiding someplace in the room. Uh, Phil Whitliff is in the room today. And Phil was uh, not only a player here, but he was also the, uh, the coach, uh, the general manager, Mr. Admiral Phil Whitliff is also in the room today. Uh, Fred Berry, whose number is retired by the Admirals, played many, many games in this building. He is also in the building today. Uh, Carl Valamont is in the building today. Uh, didn't really have too much time in this building, but uh, certainly one of the great Admirals of, uh, of all time, and uh, so great that we're giving him a bobblehead on April 2nd. So tickets are available, and uh, <laughs> we'd love to have you join us for, uh, for Carl's uh, uh, bobblehead night. We also have uh, Scott Ford and Stan Drulia of our coaching staff. Scott also uh, played a, about eight gazillion games for us. Uh, one of the great captains in Admiral's history and uh, now moved to the, to the uh, bench and doing a great job with the, uh, our coaching staff along with uh, uh, Stan Drulia uh, helping us to hopefully win one more Calder Cup at the Bradley Center before we come here. And uh, certainly like to welcome our other hockey staff. I know Ryan Costello is here in the room. I don't know if our, our trainers and equipment guys made it over yet, but uh, uh, they are so vital to our success. And then our current players who are here standing to my left, these three we affectionately call the French Fries. Uh, Freddie Cadreau, this year an all-star in our league. Jimmy Olney and Felix Gerard, uh, who will, if not playing in Nashville next year, will be skating on this ice, again, hoping to win a Calder Cup in our first season in this building. So if we could, uh, I'm not putting any pressure on the, just, on the general manager over here, but uh, if we could win, win one more over there and then come over here and win one, that would be awesome. <laughs> a couple of nuts and bolts items you may be interested in knowing about. Tickets for next season are uh, going to be on sale immediately. Uh, our season ticket holders are receiving as we speak an email uh, detailing how this process will work for them. And it is, uh, you know, a way for us to take care of our longtime season ticket holders, several of which are in the room today. Uh, we could not be more grateful for their support and for what they've given us for many years. And I know they are excited to get into this building and see what is uh, here for the future. Um, it's going to be loud in here. It's going to be fun in here. And we are going to make this place rock. Um, we do it now in the Bradley Center, and I can only imagine with a little bit less uh, of a, a capacity, how that is going to be so much more fun uh, when we get in here at the uh, UWM Panther Arena. We have six more regular season home games left in the Bradley Center, and then hopefully a long playoff run. But we're going to do some special things over these next uh, six games, including the final game, of which details of what we plan to do that night will be coming out here in the next week or so. And uh, it's going to be a special night uh, as we uh, pay tribute to what has gone on in the Bradley Center since 1988. I am very fortunate to have as part of our staff, Tim Van Wagener. Uh, he and I were at the Brewers when we closed County Stadium. And uh, it, was a, it was a special time and we hope to make that last regular season game a special night as well. So we hope that people will come out to join us for uh, April 15th. You've finished your taxes. You've had your fish fry in your old fashioned. And uh, you can come out and join us for, uh, for that regular season finale on April 15th. 
Lastly, I would like to uh, thank two groups, actually one group and one person, uh, more specifically, yes, Roscoe, but you'd be right on the list. Uh, I would like to thank our staff. Uh, our staff has had to uh, uh, really carry a lot of the weight here over the last couple months of keeping this season rolling while Harris and I have been really, really dedicated to getting this deal done. Uh, sometimes we probably have seemed a little uh, out of it, at least I have, and uh, it's been because of them that we are on the precipice of having quite possibly our best business season ever uh, since we took the team over in 2005. Our attendance numbers are up, our revenue numbers are up, uh, a lot of great things have happened here and it's been because they have stayed focused on keeping this thing going in the right direction. I have experienced wonderful people that work for us and I'm grateful for each one of them. Lastly, I'd like to thank Harris uh, personally for one, his guidance of this team since 2005, but also for his uh, persistence, his dedication, his tenacity during this process. Uh, I think there's some times where I felt like I would have uh, maybe, like, okay, that's good enough, and he reminded me that it wasn't. And that's how you end up with getting a good deal. And this is a deal that is 10 years long, uh, so this is a long time for us to uh, be doing business under these terms. And so, uh, thank you for your guidance, and thank you for keeping me on the right track. And you're right, a phone call to uh, Mr. Seelig last week uh, was, uh, was a great reminder of all it takes to get deals done. So on behalf of uh, uh, myself and my family, uh, my daughter, who will be excited to be coming over here uh, to see games from now on. She's come to many a UWM basketball game with me uh, over time, but uh, now to be able to see Admirals Hockey here for the long term is going to be a real special thing. So on behalf of uh, all of us, thank you all for, for being here and being part of this special day. Next up, I'd like to introduce the External Relations Coordinator for the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee, Mr. Kevin O'Connor. and everyone. On behalf of our Chancellor Mark Money and the rest of our university, uh, welcome to the Admirals, to the UWM Panther Arena, and as you might imagine, we couldn't be any more excited to have them here, the great vibrance and the number of events and the number of people it's going to bring to this building is going to be a great thing. I think the other thing this points out are the great community partnerships and the great impact that UWM has and can continue to have in this community. When I look at people like Harris and John, from the standpoint of being alums, from the standpoint of being supporters and great partners of our university, to be able to give some of that back and see what great partnerships can accomplish is a wonderful thing for all of us to see and understand what an impact that UWM can have. And the chance to see personal relationships that all of us have been able to build over time foster themselves in such a positive way as they continue to build forward. I've had the chance, as many of you know me over the years, to be in this building for some great events in recent years from the UWM standpoint of Horizon League Championships, teams winning titles, storming the floor, full houses, great crowds, energy and excitement in this building. It is obvious to me and the rest of us at, this, at our university that same level of excitement is going to be here night in and night out with the admirals in the building and we can't wait to see what that means be it the improvements the number of people in the building the things that are happening the excitement that we all know can come to this great old building is going to be here on a regular basis and we couldn't be more excited i think too the other part is to remember what a connection this building this team and our university is to milwaukee and how it really brings all of us together when i think of harris Turner and john greenberg I think of their commitment to Milwaukee. When I think of the Milwaukee Admirals and that long history that was just rattled off and hockey in this city, I think of Milwaukee. When I think of this building as someone who didn't even grow up here but came here many times and had the chance to see some great events before I started working in this building, this building is Milwaukee and people around the country identify this building with Milwaukee. And so it's great to see as Milwaukee continues to grow and this downtown continues to grow that this building will be such a very, very big part of it. And that's a wonderful piece of this as well. Finally, just personally, I couldn't be happier for these guys to have this done 
to be able to move forward. I know they're excited, their staff, the alums that are on their staff, the folks that work in this building that went to UWM and in the center district, everyone's excited to bring this partnership together and there's no doubt it is a win-win for everyone involved. So again, congratulations, welcome, and thank you very much. Now at this time, I'd like to welcome the president of the Wisconsin Center District, Mr. Russ Starkle. Wow, what a great day, huh? Uh, Admiral's coming back after many years of being gone, but uh, you left off a little bit of the history here. Uh, when the Admirals was here, I understand that the other team didn't want to come here because we're known as the House of Noise. So we want to recreate that and make that a viable building once again when, they, uh, when the Admirals come and start playing. Uh, to start with, I'd like to thank Harris Turr and John Greenberg, Kevin, appreciate it. A lot of time spent on a contract, that agreement that we worked hard to get that's going to be a win-win, as stated previously for both, not only for both the Admirals and the district, but the city of Milwaukee and the fan base. So it's, it's a great thing that we have here. It's a great thing that we got going forward. Uh, during the past couple of years, if you've been in our facility, you've noticed we've completed a number of upgrades from the new seats to the scoreboard, uh, to uh, new concession foods, but we're going to continue that. And we're going to work hard to getting more fan experienced uh, excitement here. New locker rooms, new Wi-Fi, better Wi-Fi. We're also looking at uh, get, uh, getting better uh, ideas of, for the other entities like Brew City Bruisers and the uh, Milwaukee Wave. We want to thank them for their patronage and knowing them that as we move forward, we're going to also increase their ability to bring in fans. With the Admirals completed, uh, again, we're going to look at upgrading our concession areas. We're going to look at new kitchen and facilities. And we're going to look at uh, overall aesthetics for our uh, common areas and, their, and our other areas that we have there so we can bring the best sports experience for the Wisconsin fans. I'd also like to close this by thanking Scott Neitzel, my boss, and the rest of the DOD team for making this happen. Without their expertise, their leadership, their guidance, uh, I think we'd still be working on a contract. But working together with Harris Turr and John Greenberg and Kevin, we came together to make a great thing happen for the city of Milwaukee. With that said, one last thing, my staff, the Wisconsin Center District staff, the people really worked hard to make this happen. They were behind the scenes, giving a lot of support, a lot of uh, counsel, so we appreciate them. We left out one, one of the most important fans here. Roscoe, you ready to come back? All right, let's make it happen. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate being here. The uh, Milwaukee Admirals are the American Hockey League affiliate of the National Hockey League's Nashville Predators. Uh, the Predators uh, Assistant General Manager, Paul Fenton, is here today. Uh, thanks, uh, Aaron. Uh, I'd like to congratulate uh, both parties here for coming to an agreement and coming back what I would consider home for the Milwaukee Admirals. We've had a a tremendous run here with the Nashville Predators, uh, 18 years of being affiliated and now 11 years with both Harris and John. Um, we've won one Calder Cup, again, we're, we're trying to win another one. Uh, we've had a great success of getting into the playoffs, I think uh, 10 of 11 years since uh, Harris has owned it. And uh, I'd like to recognize our players because they are the ones that, that bring this, uh, this type of winning atmosphere that we're trying to have here in Milwaukee. Uh, you mentioned that the former players are here. Uh, fortunately, un fortunately and unfortunately, I played against Danny LaCour and, and Freddie Berry and actually played for Freddie's brother in, uh, in prep school as, a, as my coach. Uh, I see Phil Whitliffe out there who was uh, trying to send people out there to kill me in my day that I played here. Um, this, this place actually brings back memories and uh, you're description of this building being hard to play in. Uh, I can attest to that. The first year of the, what uh, a few people, I guess, referred to the Peoria Prancers. 
on this team, they used to say put your stick through that prancer on their chest a couple of times. And going back and remembering some of the players of your your past, the Yakachucks, the the Boxcar Davises, Fleshy, um, that played with all of these guys, uh, uh, it was a nightmare to play in. I hope that uh, our organization, the type of player that we get here, makes it a nightmare for everybody to play against as well. Our coaches do a great job. They're in the back there, and, and uh, they should be commended as well. But I think coming back here into the character that this building holds, the uh, I look at it as, as kind of old-time hockey. Uh, I'm from the East. I'm from Massachusetts. And uh, um, we come from a place called West Springfield, Mass. Well, West Springfield had Eddie Shore in old-time hockey in, in the old Coliseum where I grew up playing. This kind of brings me back to it. I played my first exhibition game in here. Um, one of the players that was in the game, about eight minutes left in the second period, got into a fight with Dale Yakachuk, and I was I was telling Danny Lacour this uh, one night, and uh, this kid was from Dartmouth. I played at BU. I got into the locker room, and he was taking off all of his equipment, and threw it into his bag, and picked it up. I said, to him, "What are you doing?" He says. I have a Dartmouth education. I'm not going through this for for a complete year, and he ended up leaving. Well, fortunately for me, I ended up staying and and played one year in this league, and then was fortunate enough to graduate and play in the National Hockey League for a number of years. And and it was learning how to play in an environment like this that probably took me to that next level and has kept me in hockey for as long as it has. And and I'd like to get to that point where. Our team is, is uh, known as one of these teams that is extremely hard to play against each and every night in the environment that it's provided with here. And this building has great character. I'm looking forward to seeing us come back here to be in, in a, a situation where we're, the, we're one of the tenants that has the ability to, to make it miserable on teams instead of us being gone every Saturday night and having to travel back here. So it'll be really interesting for us to get in here. So. Again, congratulations, and uh, I hope this is a, a great marriage for everybody. Thank you. Just to uh, reiterate what uh, John Greenberg said a little bit ago, there are six home games remaining, including this weekend, Friday and Saturday. The Admirals currently have a winning percentage. It's about 650. So uh, it's uh, it's been a good season. It's been a great season, and we look for uh, a great things still to come. Um, there are availabilities. We can take a couple of questions up here uh, if you have any, but there will be availability as well on the west side of the building uh, for one-on-one -on -one interviews, things like that, if you are interested in that. But uh, we have time for two or three real quick questions if anybody has uh, any questions for any, any of the parties up here on the dais. Uh, what's the status of naming rights with the arena? How long does that agreement go, and is that going to change within the arena? Naming rights? Who wants to handle that? Russ, you want to come up to the microphone? I'm sorry, Russ. <laughs> Currently, we have naming rights with the uh, University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee, and those naming rights will continue for about eight more years. Is that it? That's good. Anything else? If not, um, Charlie Larson is seated right here. You can see him if you'd like to line up any interviews with um, perhaps some of the players that used to play here, the current players for the Admirals coaching staff, any of the gentlemen up here, uh, we, uh, we certainly invite you to do that. Again, we'll do those on the west end of the, uh, of the building here. Um, thank you all so much for coming out here, supporting the Milwaukee Admirals, being in here on what is truly a wonderful day. Have a, have a great rest of the day, and we'll see you here in 2016-17.